everybody, it's Monica with Your Best Female Figure, and today I have some fun and challenging exercises to help you get sexy and beautiful, plus some tips to help you feel good about your unique beauty and your unique body. Um, these are things that I've been learning from all the amazing people that I get to share the stage with on a regular basis now. All right, so this first exercise is a squat hop lunge combo so you're gonna squat really deep so your fingertips touch the ground every single time and then you're gonna hop into a rotating lunge and you're also going to touch your fingertips to the floor as you lunge so these are both really deep movements um, so make sure that you are keeping your knee over your heel um, and they're gonna tr work your glutes your thighs really really hard and also your core when because you're rotating from side to side that always works the core um, after you do about 10 of those you're gonna do a plank walkout so you just start from a standing position, you bend over, reach your hands to the floor, and then start walking out into a plank, and then you rotate into a side plank on both sides, and then you walk it back up to standing. You're gonna do about five to 10 of these, it's totally up to you how many. Make sure that you are engaging your upper back muscles and that you're keeping your deep abdominals nice and tight as you're going into the plank and rotating from side to side. That's gonna keep you balanced, and it's gonna protect your shoulders as well as your low back. Uh, this exercise looks, you know, kind of easy. It looks really simple, um, but it can, you know, cause problems for you, shoulders, and also your low back if you're not careful with it. After you do five to ten of that, you're going to switch over to this lateral lunge hop with a high kick. Now you can rotate the high kick around um, or you can just kick your leg to the front. Um, and it's better if you stick to one side so you don't get mixed up uh, on legs. I tried alternating sides and it was just too <laughs> confusing. I kept screwing it up. Uh, and even when I just focused on one side, it was kind of hard. That's why you see me pausing a little bit because I'm trying to stay focused on the leg that is doing the kicking and not always getting it right, but that's okay. That's part of the fun of training is that you get to learn from your screw ups. I actually wrote a detailed article about this workout, including tips on how to learn from your mistakes and accepting your unique beauty. Uh, so go to the blog and check that out if you need more workout tips and info about this workout. All right, so the next exercise is a toe touch to spinal rock to leaping hip extension. So you're actually going to jump the knees up towards the ceiling from your back position and then you're going to land with your feet flat on the ground and your hips elevated up in the air as high as possible this trains your core it trains your glutes your hamstrings it also stretches the entire back side of the body uh, it's a really fun exercise uh, but it isn't for everyone so if you have back problems you may want to you know just start out slowly with it and then kind of build up to you know more powerful jump um, all right and the final exercise is this rollover floor press um, so you're just going to roll from side to side and then you're going to press up into a push-up position or you know like a plank position keep your hands really close to your chest um, and then once you do about five repetitions of that uh, you can finish up with some dancing which i did but not in reverse. So why is this in reverse? I actually talked about this on Facebook the other day. Um, it's because my next act is a reverse strip. Um, so I'm actually having to watch myself do movement in reverse, which is really interesting. So a reverse strip, in case you don't know what that is, is when you actually put a costume on instead of peeling it off. Um, and it can also involve reverse movement. Um, I've seen it done at Burlesque Call of Fame and it was amazing. It looks more like performance art than it does like burlesque which I absolutely love and experimenting with reverse movement is really fun so if you feel like trying it just you know try to follow what I'm doing in the video or you can just do the forward version by combining all the exercises that you just did into a little dance routine any way that you like that feels good for you um, that feels like beautiful movement for your beautiful, unique body. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be back soon with more exercises and tips to help you get your best female figure. Thank you so much for watching.